But the more they oppressed them, the more they multiplied. My God. Dear child of God, I want you to know that the more you are facing that oppression and that opposition, it will be the more the Lord will strengthen you and it will be the more the Lord will establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 1 verse 12 says, But the more they oppressed them, the more they multiplied and the more they spread out. The enemy could not understand. The Egyptians could not understand how the more they were oppressing the people of God, the more they were doing everything to get them down, was the more they were getting stronger, was the more they got elevated, was the more they became solid. My God, dear child of God, I want you to know that the Lord will give you strength, more strength and more abilities. Despite everything that is done against you, the Lord will keep continually making you stronger. He says, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. This will be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. As they are fighting you, trying to get you down, as they are pulling you down, so the Lord will keep making you firm. So the Lord will continually give you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 105 verse 24 says, He increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their adversaries. Dear child of God, the Lord will make you stronger than your adversaries. He will make you stronger than your enemies. He will make your head stronger than the things that the enemies want to use against you. He will give you wisdom that will override everything that the enemies want to use to get you down in the mighty name of Jesus. He says all things work together for good to them that love God, to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Dear child of God, as they are fighting you, it will be for your good in the name of Jesus. The more they want to get you off track, will be the more the Lord will keep directing you to your position of breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. The more they gather, will be the more your announcement will be made for glory in the mighty name of Jesus. The more they are finding ways to tarnish your name and destroy your destiny, will be the more the Lord will be announcing you in the mighty name of Jesus. The more they came to fight against Jesus was the more his fame spread abroad. Dear child of God, I want you to know that as Jesus' fame went out and spread abroad after the things the enemies were doing against his life, this is the way your enemies will be announcing you in the mighty name of Jesus. A man did not know that when he went to the king and said the things he was saying to the king, he did not know that he was going to be mentioning the name of Mordecai for good. So it will be in your life. As your enemies are going out there to spread false information, that is the same way they will be making your name significant in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the same way they will be bringing you to your glorious heritage in the mighty name of Jesus. As everything that is done against you is being done, so will the Lord be advancing you and be announcing you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see breakthrough in all that you do in the mighty name of Jesus. Just because you have an opposition against your life, that will be the reason God will cause you to be firm. That will be the reason God will cause you to be established in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Psalms 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. My God he said you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. So it will be for you in the presence of your enemy. 
in the presence of your adversaries, the Lord will anoint you. The Lord will elevate you and the Lord will establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will make it known to everyone who are fighting against you that he is for you and no one can ever be against you. The word of the Lord have said, if the Lord be for you, who can be against you? My God, I know without a doubt that the Lord will strengthen you and the Lord will make you stronger than your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. The more you are oppressed, the more you are afflicted, will be the more you are getting stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. As the word of the Lord in Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Let not my enemies gloat over me, dear child of God. All that the enemies are doing against your life will not be the reason they will be rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus. Rather, you will be the one rejoicing because the Lord has brought you victories in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The enemies will not understand how you are blessed. They will not understand how the favor is coming your way. Despite all the things they are doing to get you down, despite the things they are doing to get you off track, they will not understand why you are the one that is called for promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. God will cause you to have open doors in the places people have stood against you and have shut the doors. That is the place God will cause your doors to open up in the name of Jesus. Paul will say that a great and effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. In that place, God will open the doors for you. Your adversaries will stand and see how God will open the doors for you in the mighty name of Jesus. They would have thought that they succeeded in getting you down, but they will see that everything they have done against you did not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like the Lord made the children of God to become stronger and grew and were more established, the more the oppression was increasing, so it will be for you. So dear child of God, I want you to relax and thank God for what he's doing for your life because he's going to prepare a great table for you and the enemies will see it. Everyone from your household, everyone from your place of work, everyone from your community that have said that you will not do so much in life. They will see God bringing great things out of your life and out of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their adversaries. The Lord will increase you. He will make you stronger than your adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will make it known that you are his he will make it known that he is for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And he will continually frustrate the things that the enemy is doing against your life in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 16 verse 5, the word of the Lord says, The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot, my God. Thou maintainest my lot. The Lord will maintain you. The Lord will preserve you and it will cause everything in your life to flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be your portion and your inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will see to it that you are uplifted greatly in Jesus' mighty name. But the more they oppress them, the more they multiplied and the more they spread out. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus. The more you are oppressed, will be the more you are multiplying. And will be the more that the Lord will establish you and make you grow. He will make you grow over that opposition. He will make you grow above that limitation. He will make you grow above that oppression. In the mighty name of Jesus. Until you will become untouchable. Until you become great. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. 
God bless you and Shalom.